Hey guys, it's Jeannie. Welcome back to my channel. So a few months ago, I did a Tabo haul slash how to buy video and I've gotten a lot of questions since then about is it worth it? Do you actually save money? What's the quality really like? So I did another order <laughs> and I'm going to be showing you sort of a breakdown of comparing it to other websites and just sort of calculating if you're actually saving money, showing what the quality is really like and uh, just another excuse for me to get more cosplays. I got three new cosplays and I'm really excited about them. Let's go ahead and open the box. I really need a box cutter for the amount of mail I order to my house. But instead we are using my wig cutting scissors, which is not good for the scissors. Oh, oh my god, sorry. I ordered some cosplays that I've wanted for a really long time. Bitch, I'm so excited. So how this video is going to be structured, I'm going to take out the cosplays, I'm going to show them to you, I'm going to try them on, and then I'm going to break down how Tabao works, and if you actually are saving money. So let's go. First up, I got Bring It On Kagamine Rin from Vocaloid. Alright, so I'll put a little picture of what Rim looks like here, and this is the cosplay. Oh shit, that's sick. Okay, so it has like her little headband, but there it's actually like headphones, which they made out of foam. So that's pretty cool. Oh hell yeah. I was a little nervous about the length of the skirt. Skirt, so I sized up like uh, quite a bunch um, So I'm excited to see how it fits. I was worried that these were going to be very small The little leg warmers they look quite large, which is good because a honey got muscular calves Here is the main piece of the costume. It's very accurate. Here's the necklace this thing <laughs> Put onto the oh I'm gonna wear this just like on the regular because this is a cute choker um, so they really paid attention to detail with this um, in the music video you can see that the there's like a little bit of blue that peeks out from underneath and they actually lined the entire garment with a blue fabric so that when you wear it little bits of blue peek out from underneath so that's pretty sick the bow is huge, which I love. And here's the skirt with the little uh, belts. I am a little worried that because I sized up that it's going to be like a little bit big, but, and it's supposed to be a little lower, but I wanted it to sit at my waist. So it's definitely gonna be a bit short, but I knew that. But so far, I'm really impressed with it. And this was really inexpensive. Next cosplay! I love Kaede, I love Danganronpa, I love V3 so much. This year alone, I have done seven Danganronpa cosplays, and I'm planning to have at least 10 done by the end of the year, so. Ooh, okay, shit, this feels really nice. I'm actually kind of really impressed with this. I wasn't expecting to be so impressed with this because this is the cheapest thing I bought. But the vest is actually like... Like it's a real... It's not like cosplay fabric. It's like something you'd find at like Forever 21, which is pretty cool. Am I a weeb enough to wear this with her little symbol on it in my daily life? Absolutely. So will I? Probably. Because I love this color of pink. It's like ribbed and it's stretchy and it's just, I'm actually really shocked. I thought it was just gonna be like a simple cotton, but they really snapped with that one. Okay, and her skirt, it's obviously wrinkly from the mail, but with a little steam, this would be good. It has elastic on the sides and a button and zipper in the back. I really like the color. It's like not too extremely purple. Oh, it's showing up really nice on camera. Like, 
I think it's really true to her her outfit so it's definitely more of that like cosplay material than the best is um, but I'm really not mad about that because like it's a cosplay and it costs like $16 so am I really angry no it also came with the tie and then it came with her specific socks because she has a little symbol on her socks as well and these are nice these are like a like a stocking kind of material and not that like really thick knit material which I really like because I don't really like how those look on my legs again a sis got thick calves so I like this material because I think it's more flattering so I'm really happy that these are the material that they are <laughs> this last one is like a dream cosplay so I'm a little bit of a love live whore so it's it's a water blue new world Hanamaru and this is what made me the most shook out of all of the cosplays that I bought because this alone would have cost me like $150 to $200 if I had bought it outside of Taobao but it was a portion of the price for this. So we've got the hair accessory hair accessory. This is for the leg. Oh, okay. I like that a lot actually. Okay. So this is for the leg um, and it's actually elastic instead of being like a strap because I find that when you wear straps, they always tend to just like slide down, but this is actually elastic. So it'll like stay on my leg. This is the middle bow piece. So this is the main, <laughs> this is the main dress. So it's like a top. And then here's the skirt, it goes sort of like underneath the top part. This is the like overskirt. If you aren't familiar with Water Blue New World, they have like a transformation. So this skirt actually goes over top of the white skirt and then they rip off this one so that they're wearing smaller skirts in the dance. So I got the version with the long skirt so that I can rip her off. And it's also one size, so if you need a little more room, you can just Velcro it where you need it, and then it just tears away for your dance. And this is like the Water Blue New World cosplay. Like, whenever I see people wearing it for like their dance covers and stuff, if they haven't made it themselves, it is this one. Like, this is the one that they wear. And I got it for so much less expensive than I've seen on other websites, so tab out pulled through and the quality is really nice. Ah, I'm so excited. This is like a million times more exciting than my last tab out haul. Okay, so we're gonna pretend that I still have makeup on, um, but this is the first cosplay. It definitely is a little bit big in the waist, so I do have it pinned, but I'll just put like a quick stitch in it. Um, I wanted it to be high-waisted, and it's supposed to kind of like fit here, so it is a bit short, and it is a bit loose, but that's fine. That's my decision to make it high-waisted. Um, these things, as I have mentioned thus far in the video, I have juicy calves, so they are a little bit like tight, and they're not quite the shape that I want, but they are like true to the cosplay so I'm probably gonna make the artistic choice to uh, get some baggy white leg warmers just for like that kind of Yaru schoolgirl look. Altogether it's a really nice costume. It fits really well everywhere else. I'm gonna make just little tiny adjustments but that's pretty much it. I'm pretty happy with the costume and the fact that I got it for a fraction of its regular price. I'll compare I guess like how much it cost on Taobao versus how much it cost on AliExpress. And uh, yeah, it's, I'm really happy with it. So, next costume. I'm gonna be real here. I put this cosplay on and it immediately feels like home. <laughs> this fits amazingly. I got this one in my actual size and it is so nice and so comfy. The shirt is my own and it's so wrinkly because I just pulled it out of my uh, drawers without even doing anything to it. So, but the costume is so 
comfy. It fits so well. This is so nice. Like I are I like I knew before it felt nice, but it is so nice. The cheapest cosplay I got, and it's already just my favorite. It is a dream. I'm in love with this. I don't have anything bad to say about this. You can get it with the shirt. I just chose not to because it was cheaper and it's just a plain white shirt, so I just got it myself. Even though I look like shit up here, we're gonna ignore that. I look like Kaede IRL and I'm living for this. 10 out of 10, no complaints at all. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh, look at this beautiful dress. I am so excited. Oh my god. This is. So good. Um, it's really wrinkly because I need to steam it, but it is so nice. I was so worried it wasn't gonna fit me properly, or like, this is the one that I really wanted to be super nice. Um, so I'm really excited that it is. I'll do the thing, you. I'll do the thing, you. It's sparkly, it has all of the like accessories. I got this one in my size and it fits. So basically I got Kade and this one in my size and they fit and I got Rin a size up and it's a little big. So like the size one's really accurate. So that's nice. I'm Okay, so I did some research while I was doing this because I've always just sort of like bought from Taobao and been like, yeah, this seems like a like a better deal, but I have the numbers for you. So I've broken this down into three different sections and each one I got the price in US dollars and Canadian dollars. I'm Canadian, so the Canadian dollar means more to me. But I know for a lot of people who are in other places of the world, even if they don't live in the US, the US dollar is sort of just like the ground point for um, online shopping and a lot of people can quickly like convert the US dollar into their currency so I'm using that as a base but also put in Canadian because that's my currency and my Canadian fam needs some representation. <laughs> So when I'm not shopping from Taobao, I usually am shopping from AliExpress. And AliExpress is already known for being like pretty cheap and things coming from China. So I really wanna compare AliExpress to Taobao because I feel like a lot of people think that AliExpress is the same as Taobao and that they're getting the same deals, but you're not quite getting the same deals. It's not as far apart from the other options, but it, there's still a pretty good gap and if you're broke, like most cosplayers are, even saving a bit of money is a good thing. So on AliExpress, I went and I searched all of the different cosplays and I made sure to pick the ones with the same product being displayed. So I used the same like photos that were being used on Taobao and on AliExpress. They used the same product image. And I also made sure to find the ones with the best reviews, the ones that I would personally be buying if I was going on AliExpress. And the total came to, with items and shipping, it came to $212.43 US and $282.80 Canadian. So for three cosplays, that's, so it's pretty much just Water Blue New World that bumped the price up so much. So, I mean, it's expensive, but you are getting three cosplays. Um, I looked at like a cosplay website, like a specific, retailer for cosplay online with their own domain. So for this example, I chose Easy Cosplay. They had all three costumes available and they all look to be pretty much the same. On Easy Cosplay, it was for the products and the shipping. It was $304.87 US and $406.36 Canadian. That's a big jump, even just from AliExpress. To be fair with this video though, I have not tried from Easy Cosplay and after buying these items and choosing to use Easy Cosplay as like sort of a comparison, I've decided now that I'm going to try Easy Cosplay's costumes and really test the quality versus that of AliExpress and 
cowbell. So in the upcoming future, there will be a video of me trying an easy cosplay costume just to see if the quality really does meet the price point. As of right now, I don't know that. But keep your eyes out for a video where I test the quality of Easy Cosplay because that is a big jump and now I'm curious. But I'm pretty happy with Taobao and AliExpress quality. They photograph well and that's pretty much all that matters to me. But if Easy Cosplay is really more luxurious and comfortable, then the price may be justified. So I will be delving into that more in the future, but for right now, if the quality is similar to this, the price is a large jump. Now for Taobao. If you don't know how Taobao works, I have another video about how to buy from there, the services, the different fees and stuff like that. To break it down simply, you can't very easily order from Taobao outside of China, so usually you have to use an agent. I personally use Yoibai, I find them very simple to use, and if you order with them for the first time or make a new account, you can save $10. Um, US which is pretty good so you have your item fee and then it gets shipped to the agent then they pack it up and then they ship it to you so then you have your international shipping fee and then you have a service fee from the agent there's also stuff like card processing fees for using PayPal or your card to pay for it on their website I'll have like a screenshot of my note kind of like right here while I talk about this but the items all together were $104.25 US um, and then the card processing fee was 3.5% and the service fee was 10%. There's multiple different ways to ship your products to you from your agent. The two most affordable and common ones are EMS and SAL. EMS you'll get your products really fast. I think I got mine in like four or five days which is whack. <laughs> so. Hence why I like to buy from Taobao if I'm trying to rush order something for a convention. And then there's SAL, which is more of like your typical shipping, like 15 to 20 days type of thing. So ordering from EMS, my total, including my items, my service fee, my card fee, and international shipping, was $162.81 US and $216.74 Canadian. So comparing that to $282.80 Canadian from AliExpress and $406.36 Canadian from Easy Cosplay, you're saving a lot of money. Even just from AliExpress, I'm saving like $60, $70 Canadian, $40, $50 US. If you wanna be even cheaper, you can use SAL shipping. And if I had done that, my items would have been $154.86 US and $206.16 Canadian. So that's almost $80 saved from comparing from Taobao to AliExpress and like $200 saved from buying from Easy Cosplay. So you are saving money <laughs> and the products are all quality. They came really fast. Yoibai was super great with like communication. So if you ever have questions about an item or you want them to double check something because sometimes translation can be an issue. If you have any questions or you want to make sure that something is ordered a specific way, you can leave comments and they will take that into consideration when they're placing your order from the Taobao seller. So I haven't had any issues with that. I got three cosplays for basically like $150, $160 US and $206, $216 Canadian. I think Tabo is a great option if you're trying to get something fast, if you're doing a group order so that you can split the shipping amongst yourselves. So if you grab a group of friends and you order together and then you split the shipping cost, it'll be like cheap because <laughs> then you're just taking the item cost plus your fraction of the shipping cost. Good way to save. Overall, I'm very satisfied with the items that I got, the service. I love ordering from Taobao. It's a great way to save money and it's a great way to get things fast. I definitely recommend it to anyone and if you ever have questions about it, you can check my previous video on how to order from Taobao and if you're still confused, you can send me a message on Instagram and I will help you as best as I can. I'm really, really comfortable with Taobao so I can find items really quickly and I can help with any issues that you might encounter. So don't be afraid to send me a message if you're trying to order from Taobao and you're confused, I will do my best to help you. <laughs>
I hope this video was helpful. I'm gonna go play with my new cosplays and style some wigs and uh, prepare for some shoots. So I'm very excited. If you wanna see these cosplays in action, you can check out my Instagram and I will be posting content of them very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Mwah!